everybody how is it going this is farscape this is season four this is episode number 11 this episode is called unrealized reality so i'm assuming just from the title that we're probably going to get something like an alternate timeline that never happened something along those lines i could be wrong just kind of what my gut instinct tells me so we have found ourselves in tormented space it's not the best place to be in at all and we learnt that through last episode with the clams and sharing the clams made everybody bonded to the other person that had ate the same clam that they had and it was dangerous because you had to one person had to basically eat that clam themselves it wasn't something to be shared and you know it put the guys in the danger of dying because it, this doctor had ensured it would be harmful to them and it was actually quite interesting to see rigel's revenge on that where he was making this guy just eat all that clam all the the doctor eat all of that clam and then to see like that you know john and rigel had to go into cover to get sokozu and Aaron back sokozu being able to chop off her digits because she can grow them back was something I never expected or even thought that it was something that she could do and then to see Scorpius put him in the situation that he did himself in that situation where he was able to save everybody by eating as much of the clams as possible to take the pain away from Aaron and Sokozu obviously he's got scar and strength so he can withstand more never expected that either so with Scorpius things are taking a very interesting route and I'm looking forward to seeing how they keep exploring that I'm just going to get straight on into this let's go exist Oh, she is adorable. How's it English? They start small, they grow, and then they change. I don't know. I love that she's doing this. Like she's learning how to speak his language. Oh man. He's been out there a long time. Keeping an eye on him. Yeah, he seems to like this particular wormhole for some reason. He's just learned to speak the language of wormhole. Wormhole. Um, ho. If you want to get him back, that's not the language you need to learn. None of them seem to take your warnings very seriously. Why should they? They have only anecdotal evidence of what the Scarlets intend. Ah. Unlike you and I. I think she is quite attracted to his power, you know. I accept your proposal to be allies. What assurances do I have that you will watch my back? Yeah. Apart from the pleasantness of the task. You instantly become the most important one to me. For how long? Most important save Crichton. Always save Crichton. <laughs> At least he's honest. Agreed. Three, two, one. Oh. Ain't you a beautiful thing? John? Break out the docking web any time now. Pilot? <gasps> he's gonna get sucked in. Pilot? He's gonna get sucked in. Pilot! Doggy, you might want to get the ship. Pilot! Oh, shit. Ready. Time is? Relative. Infinite. Yes. Relative. You are quite a simple organism to possess the knowledge you do. You're only saying that because you don't know me. <laughs> Time is meaningless, and yet it is all that exists. Very Morrissey. So let me ask you, without getting existential on me, why am I, why are we... Here? Here. Wormholes are his obsession. Oh! You set him free to find me. Your knowledge Shit. is quite extraordinary for one of your realm. Thanks. And your many travels inside wormholes, troubling. Holy hell, I didn't see this I'm coming. Now your mind, I'm aware this has made you a target of more aggressive species. A liability which must be dealt with. You stay the hell away from me. Uh, 
Oh my god. Nardo. Pilot? I Aaron. Pip. There. It's you. What happened? Uh, what the hell's going on here? Oh Bro. shit, this Run better not be a future. It's a great plan you came up with. What about the others? Dead. What you experienced was real. Well, it felt real. Real. As a Pa'u, I'm generally the teacher. But with John, I, I learned as much as I gave. Whenever he touched me, there was an almost electric caring. John Crichton made me a better captain. I sensed a, a purity, a spirit, a better leader. Oh, purity man. Of soul, better man. And I'm supposed to just take your word for it. This hair could be as fake as this iceberg, this world. You. Yeah, why is it an iceberg? <laughs> that hair represents a possible outcome, an unrealized reality. Tell me about unrealized reality. Oh, no, this is a dream where I wake up in a cell. Naked. Not naked. <sighs> Thank heaven for simple mercies. Why not two? Play one again. Two of three. Oh! Officer Aaron Sun. Special oh. Peacekeeper Commando. I carry oh. him and he plies our regiment. We got a lot to catch up on. Oh. Yeah, he knows. Oh man, she thinks she's a peacekeeper. And regiment. <laughs> Baby, you had me at hello. Oh. Rank and regiment. Now. And how do you know my name? What you should really ask is how I know you've got a birthmark on the sweet spot of your hip. Every wormhole system has oh, millions man. of exits, each to a distinct time and place. Travel from A to B. Now attempt to travel back. You could arrive at point A immediately after you left, or a cycle later, or a cycle earlier, or 10 or 10,000 uh, millions of permutations. Oh! The secret is understanding time. Yes. Not so much understanding as accounting for. Unskilled wanderings create unrealized realities. So what you showed me wasn't real. It's a if possible I had not called you back, reality. Wherever it was you went would have become your reality from then on. Are you saying that there's millions of me running around with millions of pathetic lives? One of you with millions of potential realities, depending on where and when you emerge from this system, so we need to get him back to the right place. Yes, you do. Going forward's not a problem, is it? It's going, going back. backward. That screws the pooch. Should a traveler appear early in the timeline of his own existence, he would be but as a pebble cast upon still water. But the ripples he creates would over time radiate upon far distant shores, oh. geometrically altering events in its path. John Crichton? Arrogant? Impulsive. <gasps> Self-absorbed. Insane. Ignorant. You tell me the guy was an idiot. I once shared unity with that ooh man. And the experience <laughs> haunts me. Don't go any further. That is John Crichton. I'm glad he's dead. I do find it interesting that we're not seeing like Dago, Chiana, like Aaron, or Rigel in these. Simply the effort to encounter you is massive. We can no more function in your realm than you in ours. Which is why the ancients were important to us. I like these little seats. So find more of your people and send them over. The endeavor is in hand, but requires time for metamorphosis. Have you truly chosen to help prevent aggressive species from acquiring this knowledge? As a career? No. We have little time, and there is much you need exposure to. John Crichton? Crichton. Nope. 
Not in the space program. Glasses? <laughs> Accountant. See, our families were never close, so I think I only saw him once. I could look him up in the who's who. Are you sure I know him? Maybe he went to state. Every oh, Jesus. A wormhole branches into multiple paths. The subdivision continues until at length. The subdivision continues until... The journey can be random or with purpose. Deposited back into space-time. Destination this is, is the Destination is the key. Destination is the Destination key. Is the key. Are you suddenly becoming afraid? I don't think he's afraid. I think he's just resigned himself to the fact yes. that he might be stuck. For the damage I can do, yes. Ah. Which is Fear. understandable. Fear is the correct answer. Oh, man. I didn't expect this whatsoever. I loved the whole concept of this, of John getting sucked down this wormhole and ended up in this construct with this person who I think they said their species was a close relative of the ancients. Questioning him and seeing all those people come back, like Jewel and Chris. And anytime we see Zion, my heart just explodes because I miss her greatly. And anytime that she's referenced or the odd occasion where we've seen her like this just makes my heart so, so happy. But him having seen how all of these different unrealised realities, perceptions of him, the people within those unrealised realities changed was really cool. I liked all the montages that they did. And I did find it interesting that we didn't see those on Moya within those montages. It seemed to be the people that were left behind or the people that were no longer with us that were speaking about John. And just him seeing all of these different possibilities, all these different worlds that he could end up getting stuck in if he went back through the wrong way was a amazing like i love when farscape does episodes like this because it boggles the brain but at the same time the the information that you gather from them is so interesting and quite possibly crucial to the rest of the show so i'm looking forward to seeing what they do going forward with this and then john thinking at the end me thinking at the end john was going to go and get back to moya and he's actually at Earth, what the hell? Because everyone on Moya will have no idea where John is now, and they're going to have to try and find him, I guess. I'm looking forward to watching the next one, so I'm going to sign off and say thank you, and I will see you guys later, so thank you.